JC corn going, that is what I do. Use all my roaches, cause they still got fire in them. When I roll splits, I use the Randys with the wire in them. Deep in hills, get me up in the skyline. He always smells. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tubla Marley, and this is Certified Piehead. I'm smoking on one of my uh, morning spliffs. They were going to be jumping into these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory involves the pyramids of Egypt. Could the Egyptian pyramids, those monumental marvels standing like ancient bouncers at the door of history, actually serve a purpose beyond just being glorified tombs for pharaohs? What if these grand structures were really designed as colossal storage units for the pharaoh's personal stash of marijuana. Imagine the complex ventilation systems, not as the clever architectural tricks of a civilization that mastered engineering, but rather as ancient hot boxes, expertly crafted to let out plumes of cannabis smoke during religious ceremonies, creating an atmosphere Thicker than a foggy London morning, this audacious theory begs us to reconsider the pyramids not merely as speculars for the deceased, but as monumental vaults for a sacred herb. Weaving together ancient spirituality and modern interpretations of cannabis culture. Let's take a walk down this road to this wild theory. What if the primary functions of the pyramids was to safeguard the pharaoh's most prized possession, his cannabis stash. In ancient Egypt, the pharaoh was regarded as a living god and ensured his spiritual needs were met as critical as a cat chasing a laser pointer. After all, if the pharaoh had high expectations for his afterlife, wouldn't he require the finest cannabis to maintain his divine status? Is it unreasonable to think that the pharaoh's desire for external pleasures would include a well-stocked stash hidden away like grandmom's secret cookie jar the ancient egyptians bless their cotton socks were undoubtedly concerned about their king's potluck after all who wouldn't want to make sure their ruler was living his best life even in the afterlife could it be that the pyramids served as a symbol of wealth reflecting the pharaoh's status not only through gold and jewels but also through his extensive collection of cannabis. In this sense, cannabis becomes a representation of luxury, an indulgence reserved for those at the top of the social hierarchy. What role did the pyramid's sophisticated ventilation system play in this theory? Those shafts might have served a unique purpose, to dispense cannabis smoke during religious ceremonies, creating an ethereal atmosphere that helped Pharaoh and priests alike achieve enlightenment faster than a college student discovering espresso shots. Could it be that the pharaoh and his priests engaged in religion? There we go again. The words that don't want to be said. In ritualistic smoking sessions, elevating their spiritual experiences like balloons at a birthday party. We consider this interpretation. The pyramids could be viewed as the original hotbox, where the sacred herb was not just consumed, but celebrated. The phrase, going up in smoke, takes on a new meaning, transforming a mundane expression into a deeply spiritual journey, akin to a toddler throwing a tantrum over a cookie. Chaotic, but oddly beautiful. Perhaps these ventilation systems weren't designed just for smoke, dispersal but also for creating a communal space for shared experiences where the pharaoh and his subjects could bond over spiritual rituals the pyramid becomes a center of connection much like a coffee shop where friendships brew over a shared caffeine hop here's a riddle for you a rise from the sand so tall and steep a house for the king in their endless sleep my shape is a triangle strong and wide what am I where the pharaoh hides? Could the pyramid's iconic triangular shape symbolize more than just an architectural feat? Might it represent a journey from the material world to the heightened state of enlightenment facilitated by the use of cannabis? As we gaze upon the pyramids, might we envision them as sacred conduits connecting the earth realm with the heavens like 
Wi-Fi connecting us to our favorite streaming service? Could it be that the ancient Egyptians understood the planet's potential after consciousness positioning the pyramids as both physical and metaphysical gateways to divine knowledge? In this light, the pyramids transform from tombs into sacred spaces for achieving higher states of being, much like the first sip of coffee in the morning, which catapults you from the depths of sleep to the heights of alertness. This symbolic journey could be further interpreted through the lens of psychedelic, with cannabis serving as a gateway to transcendental experiences. That's not how you say that word. That word was transcendental. The pyramids become not only physical structures, but also symbols of the mind's journey towards self-discovery and enlightenment. Here's another riddle for you. A flow through deserts bringing life through Egypt's land, avoiding strife. My waters are sacred, old and wise. What am I under the endless skies? What if the inside of the pyramids were also the ideal environment? for cultivating rare cannabis strains reserved only for the pharaoh's enjoyment could these magnificent structures serve due purposes as tombs and verdant gardens where the pharaoh's gardeners tend to his prized plants like a cat watching its territory wouldn't the pharaoh's potluck dinners have been something extraordinary where the finest strains were rolled and shared among his most trusted advisors picture this advisors sitting around puffing clouds of smoke while debating matters of state all the while thinking they're going to solve the world's problems only to discover they're just hungry for snack this session must have been legendary almost like a family gathering where aunt gertrude insists on bringing her infamous fruitcake leaving everybody scrambling for the door perhaps these gardens symbolize the intertwining of life and death showcasing the pharaoh's desire to bring a piece of earthly paradise into the afterlife cannabis plants will serve as a reminder of the pleasures of life ensuring that the pharaoh's journey was as enjoyable as it was eternal here's another riddle i lead you to riches and treasures untold my walls are lined with stories of old i'm dark and deep no life within what am i where the dead begin how might Cannabis have ensured that the pharaoh continued to enjoy a lavish afterlife. Could the ventilating system have been designed to create a eternal flow of cannabis smoke, serving as a bridge between the living and the spiritual worlds, much like a bridge made of spaghetti connecting two pasta lovers? Would this eternal smoke carry the pharaoh's essence to the heavens, ensuring he remained in a state of blissful enlightenment akin? to a kid in a candy store? In essence, could the pyramid serve as conduits not only for the pharaoh's physical body, but also for his spiritual legacy, allowing him to maintain his divine status in the afterlife, like a stubborn sock that refuses to be lost in the wash, always returning to warmth and comfort? This idea opens a new avenue of thought regarding ancient rituals and their purpose in connecting the physical and spiritual realms. Could cannabis, often associated with relaxation and heightened awareness, have played a role in these ceremonies as a means of facilitating communication with the gods? Here's another riddle for you. A bloom in the desert where the Nile flows. I'm green and from my stock life grows. Glow. That's wrong. Life grows. A symbol of the Pharaoh's reign. What am I? Golden as grain. Am I really buying into this theory? The pyramids as giant stash houses for marijuana sure it sounds amusing almost like telling the toddler that broccoli is a magic tree that'll make them fly but let's be real people these structures have stood for thousands of years admired for their architectural brilliance and historical significance the idea that they could be anything more than tombs for the great leaders of egypt feels like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole while blindfolded during a three-legged race on a slippery surface. Can we honestly entertain the thought that civilization renowned for its contributions to art, science, and spirituality be would devote its monumental efforts to a earth? 
Surely they had more pressing concerns than ensuring their leader had a reliable supply of cannabis in his afterlife. It's as if I'm suggesting that Stonehenge was merely a prehistoric site for a really elaborate game of toss. Sure, it's funny to think about, but the deeper implication of history demands our respect. Or maybe I'm just being too serious. Maybe the Egyptians were just like us, embracing life and humor in the most unexpected ways. Who knows? I'm left pondering. If the pyramids really hold the answers or if they are simply a reminder that history can be as unpredictable as a cat trying to catch its own tail. This disbelief might stem from the human tendency to compartmentalize history. Are we afraid to view ancient civilizations through a more playful lens? One that allows for the coexistence of humor and historical reverence? This suggests that humor might be an essential part of understanding humanity's journey. Just crazy theory. It is reassuring to consider that while such a theory may stretch the bounds of believability, it invites a sense of humor and whimsy often absent from discussions of ancient culture. Can we appreciate the creativity behind these imaginative interpretations, allowing ourselves to find joy in the exploration of historical possibilities? Life can be serious and perhaps a lighthearted approach helps us connect more deeply with the past, like an unexpected chuckle from a friend that brightens your day. So as we ponder the pyramids and their potential as grand cannabis vaults, we find ourselves at the intersection of history and imagination, where laughter meets contemplation, and ancient Egyptians invite us to join in on the cosmic joke. Reminding us that life, much like a perfect road joint, is all about balance. The answers to the riddles. Pyramid, the now, a tomb, and papyrus. I'll see you all in the next one, bro.